How's it going YouTube fam? My name's Rick and this is Rick the Maker. Well, Rick the Maker's laundry anyway. So today I'm going to be doing a video that you guys have been asking for for quite a while. I finally managed to get some bone and I'm going to show you guys how I process the bone. Uh, it's relatively easy, it just does take a bit of time and it does smell, hence the reason I'm in the laundry. So here I've got a big pot that's full to water up to about here. You don't have to use this big of a pot. The reason I'm using it is because I'm doing quite a bit of bone at the moment. So it's filled up to around about here, just with water. First thing I do is for the first hour or so I'll just boil the meat. That helps me get a lot of the stuff off it. I will warn you guys now, if you are a bit squeamish, this probably isn't the best video for you guys to watch because there is meat. If you want to, you can skip forward quite a bit. It'll take you to a point where it's all, like all the meat's off it and all that kind of stuff and it's just the bone. So I'm going to fill it, the pot's filled up to about here. I'm going to boil it for about an hour, hour and a half or so just to get all the meat off it and then scrape the meat that's left on it off it. And then I'll bring you guys back and show you guys. You guys, I'll show you guys me cleaning it off, getting the meat that's cooked off it. And then yeah, we'll carry on from there. Okay, so I let that sit for probably around about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and a half. And we've got these all nice and cooked up, so to speak. All the meat is able to fall off and get scraped off and stuff now. You've also got to get rid of the marrow in the middle of the bone. But first thing I usually do is I'll take them out of here and I'll just chuck them in some cold water. It just makes them a bit easier to handle. So I'll leave those in there for about five minutes or so and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, these have been sitting in here for a few minutes or so, so move that out of the way. Now, what I do now is I actually grab each bit of bone and just try to pull off what I can, really. I mean, a lot of it will just come away pretty easily. It's just a matter of getting off what you can. If you can't get it off like that, the best bit to do is use a knife and just scrape. Scrape along it just to get it all off. This is the kind of stuff you've got to get off because this is the stuff that holds all the oils. And what you want to do is you want to get as much of the oils out as you can. It's the oils that make bane, uh, bone this like yellowy colour. So we want to get off as much of the oil as we can. That's why in the next processing part, I'm going to be putting them in the pot and I'm going to be putting in some dishwashing liquid and a little bit of bleach. The bleach is good for areas like, say this, how it's a bit red. The bleach will actually turn that white. It'll actually pretty much get rid of all the staining and everything to the bone. So I'll get into this and then I'll show you guys what I end up with. Okay, so I've spent probably about 15 minutes on these. Got some reasonable bits of bone. Got to make sure you get the um, the marrow out of it because that does hold quite a bit of oils and stuff like that. So now I'm just going to put them back into a hot pot. It's just got hot water in it, just from the tap. And then I'm going to be adding some extra things, just the bleach and oh. just going to add the bleach. And the dishwashing liquid. Now the dishwashing liquid is more important than the bleach. The bleach is only really there just so that 
like it does get to a point where it's able to be whole thing white. But yeah, so I'm going to take this over, chuck it back onto the heat, get it boiling, and yeah. So first things first, dishwashing liquid. Cool, oh, there we go here. Now the one thing you want to make sure of, especially when you're doing the bleach, is that you use the bleach that isn't like lemon or anything like that, because obviously it is slightly coloured yellow, and that will not help too much with the bone. I'm going to put a bit of dishwashing liquid in here. Now you do need to keep an eye on this just for the first bit, just because obviously it's creating bubbles when it's boiling. So usually I'll wait till it gets to a boiling point and then check it over a couple of times. Bleach, usually just do like say five caps. Now this is the part that's really going to smell. Mainly because of the bleach. But once you've done that, you just put it onto the heat. So I'll get this started. Once it starts boiling a bit, I'll put the lid on for a little bit and check it out and show you guys. So mix it up just a little bit. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So that's it there. Got the mixture and everything in there so that's ready to roll so i'll chuck this on the boil and bring you guys back when i check it cool so i've got that on the boil now once that starts boiling i'll leave it for about half an hour or so i usually check it every half an hour or so just to make sure that it's not over boiling or anything like that and just check them out now there will be some bits left on it just the extra bits of meat and all that kind of stuff you can't get all of it you'd have to spend probably an hour hour and a half getting every little piece off and it's not easy work so usually i'll just leave it i'll usually do this twice with the bleach and the dishwashing liquid every half an hour or so i'll check it and just give it a little bit of a mix up just to make sure that it's all right and yeah i'll bring you guys back in half an hour all righty let's see how we're looking eh so it's been on for probably about an hour since I last checked. I've been checking on it every 15, 20 minutes or so. I thought it was about time to have a good look at it and see what's going on. So I'll pull one of these pieces out and have a good look at it. So if I bring this piece over, you should see it start to dry out and get white. You see as it dries it's getting white. So that's what we want. I'll probably leave it in there for another hour or so just to get it fully done. You can see there's a bubble on the end there so that definitely shows that there's <laughs> dishwashing liquid in there. Yeah so see there's a strip down here there's still a bit of oil in it so we'll chuck it back in give them a bit of a move around get it going again and I'll bring you guys back when I finally take them out. Okay, let's see what we've got so far. So, here's one piece. There's one bit of bone. Now, all these bits here, I'm going to chuck it in again for a little while. To scrape these bits off here first they'll be a lot easier to scrape off now and i'm actually going to cut each of these in half down the middle each of these bigger ones here i'm going to end up cutting these right down probably down this way and usually i'd use my bandsaw but i'm actually going to use my um hand saw just to show you guys that you can do it with a hand saw as well look at that so there's this piece here and just from it sitting in there ended up having one of the other pieces come off. So this piece here, honestly this piece I'll probably just throw away. I don't think I'm really going to use it. Nah. So this piece here I'll just throw away. But so far we've got this, which is quite a nice piece, nice big piece. And these here. Oh, 
it's come off to. There we go. We've got those so far. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to set it up outside because I hate cutting bone inside, it just gets everywhere. So I'll cut these outside just using the handsaw. And I'll bring you guys back when, I, when I'm doing that. Alrighty. Water. So I'll one more go around now. We've got most of the stuff off these. Everything else that's over here we don't really need. This is what we've ended up with. This nice big piece here. These pieces here. So obviously because there's a hole in the middle of them, you don't end up using the whole thing. You end up with all the cuts and all that kind of stuff. And you've got quite a few here, so we'll just chuck those in the water, chuck them up on boil probably not an hour or so should do it less water now because they're all spread out a bit more so i've got water in here again with the uh, washing liquid and the bleach um i'll swap the water out you always swap the water out if you end up taking them all out and stuff and doing anything with them you swap the water out there was quite a lot of oil sitting on top so as soon as i go to put one in it's just going to get covered in oil again so you always swap the water out put them back in there chuck them back on the heat Get them going probably another hour, hour and a half. We should be good. Do look yellow as soon as you take them out they look yellow so don't freak out but they end up whitening up so i'll just leave these out here probably probably for a day or two just allow them to dry out fully and all that i'll check them over if after that day or two, if I do find that there's still yellow spots in, in any of them, I can either dig it out or just redo it, just a small lot. 
I think the more times you do it, it doesn't really hurt it. So what I do is, if I end up with ones that have the yellow on them, I'll usually just put them through again, just do another load. That's us. So yeah, so you can see here already these ones here. So this one here's still got a little bit right here. Now the annoying thing about that is I can't really get rid of that without pretty much cutting it off. So I'll leave these overnight and probably come out tonight, uh, tomorrow, and like say cut along there, cut across there with the bandsaw just to get rid of those because they're there they will end up leaching the oil back into other parts of it, so cut it off. Same with this one here. This here. There is actually quite a lot there, so I could always do another load, but sometimes it's just a bit easier. Just cut them off. Just because there's still quite a lot of bone there that I can keep. I've cut that, cut that, I've still got all of that. So for my next video, I'm actually going to be using one of these pieces of bone to make a carving that someone has been wanting for a while. There was a comment a while ago in one of my videos. So I'm going to actually make that one. So like, subscribe if you want to see that video. Share to people that might want to try a hand at bone carving or are currently doing bone carving and don't know how to process their own bone. And yeah. Kakite!